Hi, I'm Carmen Alana Tibbetts. Right now in the Agoja Art Studio, Rodan and I are working on two quilts. And this one is just about ready to go into the quilting frame. So I thought I'd take a minute and show you what I do to get it ready and how I decide to quilt it. Let's get started. I've set out the quilt here on the table and you can see the front side. It's all made with linens, wools, and silks, which is typical of my quilts. And here is the inside. Last week I had a video on a steeplechase quilt and I talked about having a pressing scheme. And in that example, all of the patches were pressed towards the dark and then all of the seams um, sewing the squares together were pressed to one side. In this case, all of the horizontal and vertical seams are pressed open. I decided to do that because these are relatively small patches and pressing everything to one side would mean quite a lot of seams in a small area. So I decided this would give me a, a flatter quilt, something a little bit neater and marginally easier to hand quilt, although that's not a big consideration for me. So at this point, before I put this into a quilting frame, I scan the entire quilt. So I have a scanner that's, uh, I guess the bed is about the size of a legal piece of paper, so I have to do this in sections, and I'll scan all of those different sections and stitch them together on Photoshop. And then at that point, I still don't put it into the quilting frame. I have to decide what's gonna work out on my quilt, and I make samples with extra blocks and here I have some batting and then the backing fabric and I make these little mini quilts and I think about what kind of pattern might work out really well in the quilt, something to contrast or something that's going to blend in and I'll just go ahead and mark all of my different options. I use, uh, this is just regular chalk that you know you can buy in the packages for just a dollar or so and I sharpen it with a pencil sharpener and then I would quilt whatever design I would want to try out and I usually audition a variety of colors of thread. Sometimes I go with something that I think might blend in, sort of an earth tone for these kinds of things, but sometimes it might be something that's pretty contrasty. Um, this gives me a chance to look at how the stitching design is going to work with the blocks as well as the colors. So once that's all done, you know, I have all of these chalk lines and these do you know, they, they stay in there pretty well. So in your hand quilting, that's always a concern. Even if you're doing um, machine quilting, the you can see here rubbing this kind of chalk, it doesn't really come out. And so for some people that might be a concern, but I find that using the tip of this paintbrush, this is an acrylic brush, and it has very firm bristles, but they're still very soft, I can go in and I can brush along and I can get rid of all of those marks completely and it doesn't hurt the fabrics even like a silk brocade that has a lot of loose threads and it doesn't do anything to fuzz up the quilting thread itself. So this is what I use to mark and this is what I use to get rid of the final marks. So I would have one of my little mini quilts and it would be quilted and here you see my sample that has the um, rust colored thread and I decided this is what I'm going to go for for that steeplechase thread. It blends in nicely but when you look up close it does have just a little bit of color which I thought was kind of nice. So for this particular quilt I auditioned a couple patterns. One of them is um, I guess you say perpendicular lines that create squares and I thought this might be an interesting contrast to the squares and triangles that were in the design and this is quilted in a bright yellow and I decided that I didn't like the yellow and I didn't like the squares so I did another sample and this one is um, parallel rows of lines and this is in a pale pink and this is the one that I chose so I use these samples then once they're done. I don't throw them away. Um, I'll go ahead and bind this and I send this off to people as uh, a sample of the quality of fabrics, the quality of stitching, and the types of uh, materials that are in it. So I would bind two sides, use pinking shears to trim off the excess so that people can actually peel it open and they can see what the inside is like. Um, it's, it's a helpful little thing and it fits into an envelope so that's kind of nice. There are people that 
you know, they sort of want to see what they're in for if they're going to purchase something. So these don't go to waste. So I really do suggest um, trying out the marking tools. The, the little brush is really helpful. And doing the little auditioning because you can really tell a lot with these little mini quilts. And it helps not having to, um, if you find something that you don't like, having to pick out all of those stitches. So there's a little bit of insight into what goes on behind the scenes when I'm getting ready to quilt. I hope it's helpful. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.